Welcome back guys, today we're going to carry over with the CTF Collection Volume 1 Try Hack Me. In today's video we're going to go over 5 tasks, task 11 all the way until task 15. So basically these tasks include some encoding, decoding, um, a bit of forensic and that's it. In the next upcoming video we're going to carry over with the rest of the tasks starting from task 16 until task 20 and we will have finished the room this way so let's start with task 11 so task 11 includes an image when we download the image to the virtual machine all right so this is the image so in the task the statement is i accidentally messed up with this png file can you help me fix it thanks what's the content so this is a corrupted image file we need to find a way to fix it so the first thing we need to do guys when we fix corrupted images is to take a look at the hexadecimal formats so we use xxd the name of the image and then head so we print out the header and as you can see it doesn't include PNG or any of the known formats of the images. So basically, this means that indeed the image is corrupted and doesn't include any magic number, any header, any indication that this is an image file. So what we have to do, we have to take a look at the first eight digits here. So the first eight digits here seemingly do not indicate or point to a valid image. So what we have to do, we have to look back here and see what's the required format it's png so we need to take a look at the magic number of png files so if you go back what we're going to do we're going to edit this file or the header of this file so basically the first eight digits we're going to replace them with the correct magic number of png images so the image becomes valid so for that we use hex edit the name of the image and we will replace the numbers here so let's take a look now at what are the magic numbers PNG. So 89, 50, 4E, 4, 47. Okay, let's do that. So here we have 8, 9, 5, and then 0, 4E. Four seven. Say the changes. Say um, fixed. Okay, as you can see now, we have here at the header the word PNG indicating that indeed the image has been fixed. Let's go ahead and open the image. And this is where we get the flag. Okay. So now coming next, the next question. Oh, we have to uh, put in the flag. All right. So read it. Next task, read it. Some hidden flag inside try hack me social account. Did you find the hidden flag? So basically here it requires some sort of research. Maybe you can call it tiny OSINT challenge. So if you take a look at the hint, the social media account we need to take a look at is Reddit. So how to find the flag? What we can do, we have two methods. The first one is to use Google Dorks. The next one is to look up the name of the room creator. So the room creator was or the author, let's see, what was his name? Maybe at the last. More. Created by Deskel. So we take this name and we search Reddit. Maybe we can type THN. Clicking on that. And indeed, we see a post right on the Try Hack Me subreddit, and here you get this flag. Uh, 
Alternatively, guys, what we can do, we can go back to Google search and type in URL Reddit. Okay. And in text, so here we put the word THM as it is included in the flag format. And we search, let's see. How about if we remove the codes? So we have this one and we have this post. So while we use this Google Doc, we want to look up all of the results, the search engine results from the Reddit site. Okay, so we say to Google that we need to find all the search results where the word Reddit is mentioned or included in the URL. Next, we add another condition, which is the word THM mentioned as part of the page text. Since THM is actually the starter of the flag format, so we included THM here. And you get it, this is the flag. Okay, coming up next, task 13, what is this? So if you have done encoding and decoding CTF channels before, guys, you must have come across this uh, format before. So basically, this is called binary fuck. Also, you can take a look at the hint, and it's gonna right tell you that this is binary fuck. So what you're going to do, you're going only to decode it. That's it. There are many online decoders of this language. So let's take a look here at my... Okay, so we have these. Let's take this one. Let's see, no. Ah, um, wait, I guess I am confusing with this with the brain fuck. This is different. Let's try this one. All right, so let's copy the text. And this is the flag. This is it guys, only. That's what you have to do. Exclusive. Exclusive strings for everyone. So we have string one, seems to be hexadecimal format, and strings two appears to be binary. So what do we have to do here? Did you crack it? Feed me now. Of course, it's not wrong to take a look at the hint. So S1 XOR S2. So what we have to do guys, you have to perform an XOR encryption and extract the results of S1 and S2. There are two methods to perform this. Using online resources or you can use Python. Let's take a look at online resources. So we go here and say online XOR. Okay, we take the first one. And then We'll take the next one. So right now calculate the XOR. As you can see, this is the result, but in hexadecimal format. So we say in ASCII format, calculate, and you get the flag. All right, let's see how we can do this in Python. So we go back. Okay, this is the image. All right, so let's start Python. All right, so now we define the first string, S1 equal. So this is the first variable and includes the value of the first string. The next variable will include the value of the next string.
and the last variable that we will define will include the result of the XOR operation. So let's call it result or RE. Okay, and it will be equal. We start with hex since we want the result in hex format. Okay, and then we will switch it to back to UTF or ASCII. So let's start now with the first variable int it's integer and then we say the string one in hexadecimal 16 format right let's look for the term okay and then we include the next one which is s2 and again in six uh, hexadecimal 16. enclose the first parentheses and the next one automatically enclosed okay two so that's the first line next we will convert the result to if you say now print re let me see brand this is in call to print oh okay print re so this is the result in hexadecimal format now I want to convert this to ASCII or UTF. So bytes from hex and then RE, which is in hexadecimal format, decode, and then we select the format that we want. So let's say UTF 8. But let's take a look at here. So it is ASCII base 256. Let's try UTF 8. If this doesn't work, then we're going to use ASCII. And indeed, this is the flag, guys. So that's how we do it in Python as well. Coming up next, or the last one, binary walk. Please exfiltrate my file. So the name suggests that we use one of the most prominent tools in the forensic field, which is bin walk. If you Google bin walk, it's a forensic tool used to extract embedded contents in image files. So as with the description here. Binwalk is a tool for searching a given binary image for embedded files and executable code. Okay, so if we download this one. So this is the hell image. Let's copy that to a virtual machine. Okay, this is hell. And then we start Binwalk. So taking a look at the help menu, we see that there are several options along with the arguments that we need to supply. So we have this option, the extraction options, dash E, automatically extract known file types. So this is what we want for the case of this challenge. So binwalk dash E and the image name help. So now we have extracted the embedded content. As you can see, zip archive data, at least version two to extract, uncompressed size 69, and the name is hello text. So there was an embedded text file inside this image. Um, is this steganography? Could be some form of steganography, but we use binwalk as the hint in the challenge suggested. So now it's time to list the current contents. And we see here we have directory for the extracted content of the image cd underscore as you can see we have the text file get hello there and it contains the url flag and that was it guys for today as i promised you in the next channel we will continue with the rest of the tasks so these small tasks that you guys um, take and solve are of tremendous importance to build your skills in order to be able to comfortably solve a machine challenge without any hassles so that was for today guys i hope you enjoyed the video and i will see you later